Hey guys, it's time for another art project that you can do at home with your own art supplies. We're going to do this three-dimensional heart that kind of looks like it's jumping off the page. Let's go over the supplies you'll need for this project. We have a ruler, scissors, pencil, um, something to color with. I'm using markers. Um, and two pieces of paper, one smaller one to make a tracer of a heart, which I'll show you how to do, and then a larger piece that I'm going to be making a card out of. So this one is six by 12 inches, and this piece is six by five, but you can certainly have any size paper. All right, so we have the larger piece of paper. I said I was gonna make a card out of it, so I'm just gonna fold it in half to show you that it's gonna be a card. Now I could certainly just draw a heart on here, but um, sometimes hearts are hard to make. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to do one if you haven't learned this, this um, technique before. You take your piece of paper, you fold it in half. And right where the fold is, you start and you draw half of a heart. So you come up, and back down for the point. And then you take your scissors and you start at the fold and you just cut through both pieces of paper. And when you open it up, you have a really nice shaped heart. Then you're gonna take that tracer, if you decided not to draw your heart freehand, you can take your tracer, I know you can't really see this white on white, and you're gonna use that to trace around. I'm not staying really good on my tracer. And there's your heart. All right, now we're gonna be drawing horizontal, horizontal lines across um, your paper, but skipping over your heart, and I'll show you why. So I'm just gonna start where the heart comes down to a point, and then I'm gonna move down, and I'm gonna try and make them visually evenly spaced. You don't have to measure them with your ruler. You can if you want to, but not necessary but I draw the line stop at the heart and skip over and you're gonna fill your whole page I'm just gonna turn it over do the top part, same thing, skipping over. I got room for one more. All right, so I did all my horizontal lines. Now we're going to, in order to make this heart look like it's three-dimensional and popping off the page, when we get to our heart, we're gonna draw a curved line. So I'm curving my line. And this is really a hard thing to do because when you're looking at it, you're thinking you're doing curve, but you might have to erase and try again. Okay, this one's gonna go all the way from this side to this line over here, and I'm gonna try and curve up and come back down. Same thing from this line to this point. It has to be curved, it can't be straight across. All right, now it's time to do our vertical lines since we did our horizontal. And you're gonna start in the middle of your heart Drawing from that point to this point. And again, you're gonna skip over the heart. 
All right, try and do evenly spaced again. Stopping at the heart and skipping over. Skipping over the heart. Gets a little confusing with all these lines in there, so pay attention. Skipping over the heart. And I think I have room for one more, so I'll squeeze another one in. All right, like we did with the horizontal, we're gonna draw lines inside of our heart. Now the ones on this side are gonna curve out this direction. You know, try and follow the shape of the heart. And when you're on this side, they're gonna curve the other direction. So I'm gonna start, now this is very confusing. You're gonna go from this line to this line. We're gonna curve out. this line to this one, curve out and come back in, this one to this one, curve out, come back in, and there is, all right, this one does go straight down, so I guess I should have drawn that one just straight in. All right, now we're going on the other side, so we're gonna curve to the outside again, and let's see, we're going from this one to this one, but I'm gonna start closer to the edge because it's easier for me to curve starting on the outside because I kind of follow the shape of the heart then. This point to this point. Last one. And you can already see it kind of popping off the page. All right, it's time to color our heart now. Um, that'll give it more of a 3D effect than just the lines. And we're gonna be coloring in it what they call a checkerboard pattern. So if any of you have played checkers before, you'll know what a checkerboard pattern is. Um, so it's like every other shape. I like to outline my area first and then fill it in. And I kind of like to go in one direction. It just looks a lot neater that way. So doing the checkerboard pattern, I wouldn't color this one. I jump to this one. Okay, this one would stay blank. Jump to this one. Outline. Color in one direction. Okay, this one's blank, so I color this one. You'll notice with the checkerboard pattern that they usually meet in the corners. So you're gonna continue coloring the heart. Now when you get to the background, you're doing the same thing. You're gonna do a checkerboard in the background. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the background. So I do this one. You can also choose a different color for the background. So this is the one I did earlier, so you can tell more that it's a checkerboard pattern. So I did the background the same color as the heart, and earlier I said you could do a different color on your background, but it's like every other square, they meet in the points for the checkerboard pattern. And you can see it looks really three-dimensional, and it looks like the heart is jumping off the page. 
All right, that's it for this art lesson. Hope you enjoyed the three-dimensional heart. Um, maybe try doing it again with using a different shape. That would be fun and interesting. All right, good job, guys. Thank you.